mute myself here. Pull this one back up. Alrighty, if we could all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Brady, we'll call the meeting to order at 7.04 p.m. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Vaughn Crooks? Here. Fada Daddy? Here. Cable Watton? Present. Tate? Here. Perugy? Here. Rodriguez? Rizapa? Here. Quorum Present, Mayor Rizapa? I'd like to make a motion to excuse Councilperson Rodriguez. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Next up, we have minute approval from the September 19th, 2022 regular meeting. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. All right. Next up, we'll have Chief Anderson come down here for the badge uh, pinning ceremony here. If we could get a motion to make this a part of the regular I'm meeting. Move. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Do you have a mic, Madam Clerk? Oh, there, yeah. There you go. Right right right. Thank you. Uh, can I have Firefighter Alves, Firefighter Rottenbucher, Deputy Chief Martiniak? Come on down. So, thank you. So, we're here tonight to. Uh, do a little ceremonious uh, um, moment for uh, these two gentlemen. They've uh, a little over a year ago started with the Trenton Fire Department. And when you start with us, you're on a one year probationary status. Um, after that one year of evaluation, lots of training and drills, things like that. Um, if they cut the bill, uh, cut the mustard, we give them a badge. So we're here tonight to do that. Um, we wanted to uh, obviously share that moment with the mayor and council and, and, the, and the public as well. So um, let's go ahead and uh, have you do your, your solemn oath. You know, we'll have to repeat after me if you will. Um, raise your right hand, please. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America and the state of Michigan against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. And I will faithfully and impartially discharge my duties as the as firefighter. of the Trenton Fire Department under the appointment of the department according to the laws of the city of Trenton to the best of my skills and abilities. So help me God. Um, having my command. So we're going to start with uh, Firefighter Don Rottenbucher. He's having his his wife uh, put his badge. In. <laughs> and, uh, Deputy Chief, you want to go ahead and take care of Firefighter Alves here, and then uh, I'll give them an opportunity to. Uh, Right. introduce themselves or and or introduce their family that's here with them tonight i know uh firefighter alves his family is at home due to some ill children so the wife is home uh, with children duties no questions um, this uh, my spouse amanda and my father and mother uh, dennis and adele came this evening so. Nice. And Great. like I said, Jeff, say hi to the kids. Hi, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and if Daddy you wouldn't it. mind, uh, you know, I'm sure the mayor and council yes, would like to uh, congratulate yes. you as well. 
Welcome aboard. It's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Welcome to Trek. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. I'm happy to have you and welcome. Yeah, yep. of course. So, welcome. Uh, happy to have you. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. Congratulations. Thanks, Jim. Should have that memorized. Forever. That's great. It's a great job to y'all and uh, definitely welcome uh, to Trenton. And assuming you haven't already been formally welcomed here, but yes. uh, and we won't make you stay for the rest of the meeting. Don't worry. So, <laughs> so go celebrate a little bit. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Take care, guys. Great. All righty. I think we should make him stay. <laughs> Next item we have on the agenda is uh, public comment regarding items on today's agenda. Uh, this portion of public comment is reserved uh, exclusively for items that are on today's agenda. We'll have another opportunity for public comment at the close of the meeting. I would ask that anyone wishing to speak, um, if you're using Zoom, please use the raise hand feature that can be found either under reactions or participants. Uh, we'll go to uh, folks in person, in person first and then those on the Zoom to give uh, an opportunity to get queued up there. Uh, anyone wishing to speak, if you could please begin with your name and address, uh, direct all questions through me and please limit your comment to five minutes. See and seeing anyone there. No hands on the Zoom. We'll move right on along here. Um, going down to general. First thing we have uh, under uh, general is from the Boxford Residence Block Party Road Closure Request. Uh, Madam Clerk, if you wanted to take that one. Sure. Um, before you, you have a request from the residents on Boxford Street to hold their block party on Saturday, October 29th from 9 a.m. till midnight. And this would be a street closure of Boxford be between Strom and Truewood. So moved. Support. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. We've got uh, River Q's Pastry Pantry Trunk or Treat, Saturday, October 22nd, 2022. Madam Clerk. Okay. River Q Pastry Pantry had came to our last, or um, had an item on our last meeting to have a trunk or treat and they decided to postpone it to get more participation with the Trenton businesses on along West Road. So they're looking to now schedule it for Saturday, October 22nd. And this would be between 5.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. They want to um, line up cars to have kids trick or treat on the sidewalk along West Road. So moved. Smart. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Right, we'll go over to our city administrator for two items here. First one we have is the uh, naming of a street administrator. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. This is just a change we talked about a few months ago, um, switching it back to the uh, city engineer. When you guys initially named me as the street administrator, we had just brought Sohio Sabak on and that uh, course that arrangement is working out real good so i'd move that uh or ask that you approve uh switching it back to the city engineer so so hail sabak so moved. moved and supported is there any further discussion seeing none it is unanimously so ordered next up uh, i'll give it to you again dean for the approval of vc3 invoice for exchange online office 365 yeah thank you mayor uh this is um, a service that we've had traditionally, but we were paying on a monthly basis, which obviously hit uh, exceeded the uh, council threshold. So should have been um, getting uh, getting approved anyway. So this will be for our annual commitment, and it allows the email and all the exchange things with uh, Outlook to work properly, and that's. Ask for your approval. I would so move. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Next up, uh, we'll go to our controller, Ms. Saul, for budget amendments for fiscal year ending June 30th, 2023. Thank you, Mayor. Um, before you, I have the quarter ending September 30th, 2022 budget amendments by general ledger number with some detail. Most of the amendments are for the changes in the building and engineering department where we hired an outside city engineer and just various other changes. Move to approve the amendments. 
Support. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Thank Ms. you. All right, Kevin, we've got you for the next uh, six items here. So we'll get started uh, with uh, air ducts cleaning at the police and fire department. Good evening, Mayor and Council. First item I have is uh, a request from our uh, facility supervisor, Steve Mosiri. Approval is requested to clean the air ducting and vents within the Trenton Police and Fire Departments located at 2872 West Jefferson and 200 Maple Avenue. Attached uh, for your review is an explanation of the scope of work to be done. Quotes were gathered from a couple different vendors with Amnesty Air Duct Cleaning of Novi, Michigan being the lowest price of the cooperative vendors. Amnesty Air Duct Cleaning has already discussed the procedures and tentative scheduling with Police Chief Mike Oakley and Amnesty will be ready to do the job within the next couple of weeks if approved. If approved, funds are available in account number 101-265-818-000. So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Next up, uh, Great Lakes Water Authority contract amendment. On February 13th, 2019, the city of Trenton entered into a wholesale water service contract with Great Lakes Water Authority for the purpose of the delivery and purchase of potable water. Article 15 of, Article 15 of the contract permits the parties to amend the contract by mutual agreement. Administrative staff has met with representatives from GLWA and an agreement was discussed for the parties to enter into amendment number one. This will amend Exhibit B, which contains tables for the projected annual volume and minimum annual volume, pressure ranges, maximum flow rates, flow split, assumptions, and addresses for notices. Except for the provisions of the contract specifically contained in this amendment, all other terms, conditions, and covenants contained in the contract will remain in full force and effect as set forth in the original contract. City Council has requested to authorize the mayor and city, city clerk to execute on behalf of the city of Trenton, Trenton, amendment number one to the wholesale water service contract between the city of Trenton and Great Lakes Water Authority. So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Next up, we've got the replacement of the HVAC at the Westfield Building Fireplace Room. I have another uh, memo here from Steve Mosiri, the uh, facility supervisor. Approval is requested for replacement of the air conditioner compressor, condenser, line set, and evaporator coil assembly at the Westfield Center. This unit supplies the air conditioning for the fireplace room within the building. Newer EPA guidelines restrict the use of older refrigerant running in this unit, making a complete unit replacement with the updated Freon necessary. <clears throat> Along with the AC components, I'm also requesting replacement of the furnace unit that runs these components as a, pre as a preventative maintenance repair. Both units are the ori building's original units from the restoration in 1997. Okay. Quotes were gathered from a couple different vendors with flow air heating and cooling being the lowest price. Uh, if approved, replace the funds are available in 101-265-931 at a total cost of $9,900. So moved. Support. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. I had a request to purchase a V-Box salt spreader. I'm requesting to purchase one Monroe eight foot gas powered V-Box salt spreader. This spreader once, once installed in our three yard dump truck will allow for our drivers to easily salt dead end streets, cul-de-sacs, alleys, parking lots without performing excessive backing maneuvers. The truck that this unit will be mounted to is small enough to turn around in tight spacing, tight spaces making it much safer. If approved, this purchase will be made from, the, from truck and trailer specialties in Howell, Michigan. This requested salt spreader was competitively bid through my deal. The total cost, including installation, will be $10,549, and funds are available in the motor vehicle pool machinery and equipment account. So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Councilman Perugia. Yes, Kevin, uh, do they have this unit available so we'll have it for this winter? Yes, this unit's available in Wisconsin. It'll take us take 30 days to get to us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hope that means winter. So, <laughs> we're here before <laughs> that. That's, I'm not be happy. All right. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. All right. Next up, request to purchase fire hydrants. The Department of Public Service annually flushes dead end and low volume sections of water mains. The fire department also annually pumps down hydrants in the fall in preparation for winter. During these events, issues with hydrants are discovered and noted for repair or replacement. The average age of the hydrants that are being replaced are 65 to 70 years old. 
This will be the sixth year of our <laughs> replacement program. The East Jordan BR250 hydrant is our spec hydrant and found throughout the city. These would be purchased directly from the manufacturer for our absolute lowest cost. Therefore, it is my request to purchase 30 East Jordan BR250 fire hydrants from East Jordan Ironworks in the amount of $98,521. Funds are budgeted in the water main replacement account 592-563-980-001. So moved. Support. Or moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Councilman Perugia. Yes, I need a roll call vote on this, please. All right. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Benedetti? Yes. Kibwaton? Yes. Haight? Yes. Perugia? Abstain. Rizappa? Yes. Juan Crooks? Yes. Motion carries, Mayor Rizappa. Thank you, Madam Clerk. All right, next, uh, last item we've got for you, Kevin, is a request to purchase water meters. Our city replaces water meters on a daily basis due to failure or old age while updating to the newest smart technology. Trenton utilizes Neptune Technology Group as its sole provider of water meters and reading devices. These meters are only sold through one distributor in the state of Michigan, and that is Ferguson Waterworks. There is currently a supply chain shortage, so the lead time on these meters is around six months. Therefore, to avoid any disruption to our service and any impending price increases, I'm requesting to purchase this bulk order of water meters from Ferguson Waterworks in the amount of $21,866.98. These funds are budgeted in the residential meter and equipment account. So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. All right, next up uh, from our police chief, Chief Oakley, gun range uses, usage agreement with Homeland Security Investigations. Chief Oakley. Good evening. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, members of council. First of all, thank you so much for approving the air duct cleaning. I can already breathe easier just knowing that's going to be done. Uh, what I have for you tonight is a request to renew the agreement with Homeland Security Investigations for the use of our gun range. As you probably know we've had a relationship with them since 2006 where we've supplied a full-time task force officer to their agency and the benefits are immeasurable uh, it goes beyond financial but in terms of uh, training and experience um, so we've had this agreement with them allowed them to use our range and uh, just just to kind of give back a little bit to their agency there is no cost to uh, allowing this they bring in their own ammunition their own targets uh, so it's just just their use of the range periodically. Uh, city attorney did review this agreement on August 10th and and gave his approval. So moved. So, so moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. All right. Under late items, the only item that I have here would be asking for this body's approval. Um, for an expenditure of up to $13,500 uh, to Berezini Aquatics for a gutter investigation and repair assessment um, at the Kennedy Recreation Center uh, Aquatic Center um, to come from the equipment and maintenance account. So moved, so moved. moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Save your trip up there, Tim. All right. Uh, were there any other late items, Madam Clerk? No, there are not. All right, and so we'll go to our disbursements and statements and then our reports, uh, and I'll turn it over to Mayor Pro Tem Pate. Thank you so much. I would like to move to approve the authorized disbursements for October 3rd, 2022, in the amount of $1,651,759.68. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? <laughs> Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank you. I'd also like to move to approve the Cultural Commission minutes dated August 27th, 2022, and the Fire Department monthly report for August of 22. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. I would also like to move to convene to a closed session immediately following the regular meeting for the purpose of discussing litigation. Support. Moved and supported. Is there any further discussion? Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Kibawatton? Yes. Haight? Yes. Perugia? Yes. Rosepa? Yes. Von Crook? Yes. Benedetti? Yes. Motion carries, Mayor Rosepa. Thank you very much. 
All right. And thank you, Mayor Pro Tem Pate. Uh, well, actually, I will just kick it right over to you because I was going to be very brief and having nothing um, under other council business for myself here. So I'll was it me again? get started. Yep. All right. Thank you. Um, I would just like to say that we are having a community ribbon cutting for the mural on October 6th. That's Thursday at 530. It would be on the east uh, side where there is a little bit of parking. We won't be there for very long. Uh, we'll do a ribbon cutting there. I think I emailed all of you to individually to attend if you'd like to join us. Um, and then immediately following, if you don't want to meet at the site, uh, immediately following would be a reception that is graciously donated by uh, Truago Restaurant. We will have light refreshments and uh, hors d'oeuvres and be able to meet the artists and talk with the volunteers. Volunteers are invited. They've all gotten their invites and hopefully their email didn't go to spam and <laughs> they got that invite. So it's been posted around uh, and I'd like you to uh, join us if you can. And then the other thing happening uh, sponsored by Rotary is that we are going to attempt a slow roll on August. No, August. Isn't that wishful thinking? Mm. It's already October 9th coming up. Uh, you can still RSVP. Uh, we just need to get a minimum count by the 29th, but we expect you know a few more to join us. We've got about 37 participants all together. Um, and we're gonna meet at the Roundhouse. They are hosting that event. We will meet there. We'll do a little riding around town slowly. This is not a race, it's for recreation and for fun. And then we meet back up at uh, the roundhouse for um, dinner, if you would like. The dinner is $20. Uh, you pay for it when you uh, register at the door when you arrive. Um, I wish I knew what time. I think it's 3.30. <laughs> I can't remember. It's a lot going on, but check uh, my Facebook page, the Trail Town uh, Facebook page. It's sponsored by Trail Town, but uh, supported by Rotary, and we thank them for their interest as well. And there's been a lot of interest in this. People want to start a club. They want t-shirts. They want to do this more off. They want to do like two a week and I'm exhausted already, but I'm excited for the opportunity and just to see where this goes and for Rotary's help in getting this going for Trail Town. So that's all I have for tonight. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Council. Oh, I do have, I'm so sorry. I do have one more. Sorry, Nelson. You know, I have a lot to, uh, to say. Um, I, I'll let you talk about that. No, I'll let you. It was homecoming this weekend. Um, we had a great time. I supported a local business and got a corsage for uh, my son and his date. Um, so that's about as far as I got into Lobster Fest because it was super, uh, we were just super busy, but it looked like it was going to be a great time. So hopefully somebody else can say how great that was. Um, but um, my son also did a phase one of his Eagle Scout project at the Trenton Kennedy Pool. Um, so I'm glad that we're investigating because we're going to put some artwork in there. Uh, they painted a wall on the inside of the pool area next to the concession stand. And, um, funny story, I drove all the way to Livonia to get four canvases that are very large and would not fit in my car. So that was a lot of fun today, but the next phase of that project is to get some canvas artwork, uh, put up, um, also done by the kids. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Um, the kids are going to be involved in this. We had, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 kids that helped paint this this weekend, many Trenton residents as well and scouts um, and kids that work at the pool. So everybody's invested in, in trying to make the pool look a little better in this sense. And uh, we thank the city for the paint. And that is now, I believe, all I have for you tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilman. Councilman Perugia. Yes, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, for those who haven't seen um, the read the free press sports section, or Channel 4 News, we have a celebrity in our midst. Uh, we have Mr. Scott Cabawatton, who had a hole-in-one on Thursday. Oh. He got away cheap because there wasn't many people in the bar. <laughs> so I uh, just wanted to throw that out there and say congrats, Scott. That's it. Thank you, Council. So, um, wow, how can I follow you? Um, no, you know, I... I do want to thank all of those who were, um, it was a busy weekend in town. Um, I do want to thank all those that were um, working on, you know, dropping off barricades, setting up your barricades for the, uh, um, over at the cultural center, um, the street closures for the homecoming, um, all the street closures and all that work that was done for um, 
the Lobster Fest over the weekend. I had the opportunity to go down to the Lobster Fest and attend the Homecoming Parade, and um, both were great events. Um, a lot of people in town, and it was just a good atmosphere. It was a good weekend all around. So, um, you know, public services, uh, DPW, um, you know, public safety, police and fire, thank you very much um, for all your efforts and, and your folks for all the efforts um, and everybody else that helped organize those events, uh, great events. And it's just, um, it's it's fun when there's lots of things going on in town. So um, that's very encouraging. Um, thank you, Councilman, for the, <laughs> the acknowledgement. Here, I'm thinking it's like somebody like won a swimming title or something. <laughs> so, um, but uh, no, so thank you for that. Um, and just real quick, a little West Road uh, bridge update. Um, you know, the county is still up there. I talked to them. They're still up there. Uh, probably going to be up there for at least another couple weeks here. Uh, <laughs> had a couple of delays of uh, other emergencies come up. So they had to pull off and kind of fit that into their schedule, but they are actively working. The drains are working up there again. Um, there was a question of that. So the drains have been uh, cleaned and um, they're moving forward on some just short-term repairs to that structure. So other than that, that's all I have. So Scott, what hole was that you got that hole? Uh, that would be number 13 at Grozeal Country Club. Wow. About 145 yards with a seven iron. So oh, I couldn't tell you the wind speed, but. <laughs> It was in my favor. I can tell you that <laughs> the greens were fast. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, Councilwoman Bond Crooks. Yeah. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah. I'd just like to uh, say thank you to the Vintage Market, Tarago, and everybody who did a wonderful job uh, for the city of Trenton downtown all weekend. Homecoming was great. And I think that just enhanced the whole homecoming weekend. Um, although I would like to see the city get more involved with this. Uh, sip and shop and all that down there and get more people involved any, anyway. So just a shout out to them. They did a great job and um, they always do when they do one of their events and it's great. Um, also, I would just like to do a shout out uh, to a person. She's um, a server at Mom's Kitchen. She doesn't know I'm going to do this tonight, but there's a server at Mom's Kitchen who's been there a long, long time. Trenton resident. Her name is Molly. She's from Thailand originally. She just became a U.S. citizen last Thursday. She did everything right. She came to this country. She's worked hard. She's studied hard. And she's got a wonderful family. And she's just a hardworking gal. And I just like to say, you know, she studied really hard to get her American citizenship. And she came here and she did it right, the legal way, and did it wonderful. And I'd just like to say a congratulations. And we're so proud that you became an American citizen here and is in our town. So shout out to Molly. You know, I know she might not see this, but we, we, know, we know what a great gal she is and a hard worker. So I just wanted to mention her tonight, just a little human interest story. And uh, really basically, that's all I have tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Timber, that's awesome. All right, Councilman Benedetti. So we need four o'clock Sunday. Thank you. Sure, looked it up while you were talking. It, it changed a couple of times, I appreciate it. That's four o'clock on your side. It is, so. yeah. Um, no, I just like to shout out to uh, Vintage Market. Also, they did a great job. It was nice to go down there. Um, we walked around Saturday, spent way too much money. So thanks. Um, but it was awesome to see that many people down there and to have a problem with parking again and things like that. So look, it, it, whatever businesses down there got involved, congratulations to them. If more want to get involved, I'm sure they'll let you just reach out to them. But it was awesome to see so many people down there and with it being homecoming weekend most of the Trenton parents were busy with their kids so a lot of those people were not from this town probably so I mean it's nice to see that and a lot of people down there and they had a lot of great vendors and uh was was an awesome event um I do have a personal note it's uh th two days late because we didn't have a council meeting on Monday but I'd like to wish my wife a happy birthday I'm not telling you how old she is because she will do you want me, Rick? Um, feel free to if you do, but she knows where you'll be in 20 minutes. <laughs> so that's up to you. Um, so, yes, she's uh, she put up a lot this year, and uh, it was nice to celebrate her birthday this past weekend. Awesome. Happy birthday. And that is it for me. All right. Thank you very much. 
All right, we'll go to our other elected officials now. Madam Clerk, do you have anything? Um, I would just like to mention our next regular meeting is Monday, October 17th, and there will be a study session following that meeting um, to discuss the Historical Museum. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We'll go to our assessor, Ms. Barnett. Hi, good evening, Mayor and Council. I don't have anything to report tonight. Thank you very much. We'll go to our treasurer, Mr. McCullough. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't have anything to report other than I talked to uh, uh, some one of our uh, former associates, uh, Councilman Bill Lefevre. I just left his house. He's doing great. He, uh, he, he's this close to a, a miracle, and he uh, sends uh, his very, very best to all y'all. And he instructed me to give you each a hug, and that's why I'm here at home. So, <laughs> anyway, anyways, uh, I just want to relate that to you because uh, he's had a rough way to go, and uh, he and Linda are just doing great. So it's, it's, I'm glad to report. Uh, and and you're right, uh, uh, Rick. Uh, we it is four o'clock. Uh, the takeoff time or where we roll out of there probably be about four fifteen, and it should shouldn't take that long. Uh, what we are looking for because this is gonna be a sort of a template, a, a, a gauge to gauge the temperature of how well it's received. So we'd like to have people show up. We wanna get their feedback as to how we can make it better. And, and we're hopeful for 50 to 75. And, uh, and on the uh, labor side of things, uh, I, I need, uh, we need four or five more people to uh, step up and help out with uh, some logistics. So if you're interested in helping out, contact me. Uh, I appreciate it. And that's all I've got, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, Mike. I always appreciate the good news and uh, more. I'll just have to have you start leading off the meetings for us instead. <laughs> that's great. Definitely. Yes. And uh, the best from all of us to Bill and Linda. That's always awesome to hear. Great. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Uh, any of our department heads have anything this evening that wish to speak about? Uh, Chief Oakley coming up here. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just wanted to share with you all an upcoming uh, event involving a police department. Um, back in 2020, an organization called Movement Forward, which is a, an organization that advocates for social justice and social change, they partnered with the COPS office under the Department of Justice and created Faith in Blue Weekend. And the intent of Faith in Blue is to bring together law enforcement agencies in the community just to try to strengthen those bonds a little bit and uh, provide some good, some good positive interaction between law enforcement and the community. Uh, this year for the first time, Trenton PD will be participating in the Faith in Blue weekend. And uh, this Sunday, October 9th at 1030, St. Joseph Catholic Church will be hosting a blue mass, um, just, to, just you know, with the intention of bringing everybody together. Um, so you're all welcome to attend if you're around Sunday morning. Again, that's Sunday morning at 930. And uh, immediately after the mass, there'll be coffee and, of course, donuts. So if you're around, feel free to join us. 1030 Sunday at St. Joe's. Thank you. Thank you. Was it 1030 or 930? Sorry, Chief. 1030. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. Any of our other department heads wishing to speak? All right. Not seeing any on Zoom either. Steven, I have another item I forgot. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Let's uh, just as uh, just came out, they rescheduled it, but there will be a uh, prayer uh, visual for the employees who used to work at Riverside Hospital this Sunday at four o'clock. Uh, it's their kind of farewell goodbye, you know, prior to that demolition. So for those who used to work at Riverside Hospital, it's this Sunday, the 9th at four o'clock in the Truex parking lot. All righty. Thank you. So we'll go now to uh, oh, I thought you said no. Um, all right. So we'll uh, now go to public comment here. We'll uh, go to those uh, folks in person first, and then those on the Zoom. Uh, to give folks a second just to get their hands raised. Uh, if you're on Zoom, please use the raise hand feature either under participants or reactions at the bottom of your screen. Uh, I'd ask that anyone wishing to speak begins with their name and address. Uh, directs all questions through me, and please limits their comments to five minutes. So I'm not seeing any in person. We have a hand up uh, from Mr. Mills. I'll click ask to unmute should uh, give you that option there. Good. 
evening. You hearing me? Yep, we can hear you. I want to revisit something that I brought up a few weeks ago, specifically the railroad tracks on King Road, just west of Jefferson. The most west tracks I just realized recently uh, have no tracks running north or south from King Road. So apparently they, those railroad tracks have been abandoned. And I'm wondering if there is a different set of rules and regulations that apply to removing abandoned railroad tracks versus repair of railroad tracks that are actively being used. Yep, that is a great question that I don't know off the top of my head. Um, Dean, I'm not sure if you have any additional insight on top of that. Um, but that is something that we will absolutely have our attorney uh, look into. That is the unfortunate uh, pieces of knowledge that we've figured out over time is that, you know, having them owned by separate entities uh, so frequently as well. Um, has just been uh, a nightmare for the construction process of that. But uh, that is, yeah, actually, our, we don't have our attorney uh, here this night. We'll, we will have that uh, them look into that and see if we can get some answers for next meeting for sure. And we'll reach out to you. I'm going to make an extra note of that too. Thank you. Yeah, no problem at all. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Not seeing any further hands. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Moved. Moved and supported for adjournment. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none. Unanimously so ordered for adjournment at 7.40 p.m. We'll uh, see you all in two weeks. And, uh, well, the rest of us stick around for the closed session. Okay.